there is an arts integration revolution happening throughout California, and it's time that we kickstart those changes here in Kings County. In this video, I will quickly go over what this arts revolution is, why it's needed, who's responsible for it, and how we can move forward in bringing it to Kings County. Arts integration is curriculum that integrates the arts and creativity into the daily lives of students. It's math, science, history taught through dance and music and painting and and all while meeting state education standards. As an example, and one that I was fortunate to witness firsthand in a fourth grade classroom in the Burton School District in Porterville, students read an excerpt from a high school level text. And they sat together picking out emotion words, defining them and discussing them, talking about fear, anger, embarrassment, joy. Then paintings were projected onto the wall and the class picked out and discussed emotional characteristics. So could the bared teeth be anger, fear, the raised eyebrows, uh, surprise? This was review. The students broke out into smaller groups and they practiced lines that they'd already written, lines meant to convey the emotions from the text. Then they acted them out in front of a green screen in front of the rest of the class with a kid on the camera, a kid on the lights, a kid on the microphone. Then they went in as a team and they changed the background to, rep to reflect the emotions that they were trying to convey. A fourth grade class. That's what arts integration looks like. Now, why is it important? Let's take a deeper look at that fourth grade lesson. First off, high school level text in the fourth grade, but they were identifying emotion words, defining them and discussing them. They wrote their own lines to convey those emotions, then acted those lines out using body language to further their point. Then they changed the background of their scenes to reflect the emotions of the scene. Understanding and adequately expressing our emotions is such a vital part of being human. And that's just one layer of this lesson. They were working in big and small groups, making decisions together and learning that every part of the project is important to the whole, that holding the microphone contributes as much as acting out the lines. They were learning video production, which is a whole other can of worms, cinematography, the dynamics of sound, color, theory, lighting, acting. This lesson was emotional intelligence in action in a fourth grade classroom and it met the learning styles of tactile, auditory, and visual learning. Or, wait, I'm not doing another take. It met the learning needs of tactile, auditory, and visual learners uh, It all at once, and it prepared them for an unpredictable technological world. Who's responsible for this arts integration revolution? Create California. Create California is a statewide arts education nonprofit made up of like 15 other nonprofits, all doing the amazing work that they're already doing, but with one clear shared goal, quality arts education for every student. They were formed in 2011 by the California State Superintendent's Office, California Parent Teacher Association, California Arts Council, and California Alliance for the Arts. Under the instruction of State Superintendent Tom Torlakson, a task force was formed uh, to investigate and report on the state of arts and education in California and to make a recommendation moving forward. Over 100 experts in creativity and in education were brought together, and what they found was that 88% of California public schools are not meeting arts education standards. Uh, and that's really interesting when you consider that California is the creative capital of the world. Uh, and California is also the sixth largest economy in the world. A full quarter of that, 25% of our $2, two trillion dollar economic output every year in California is generated by the creative industry. The recommendation from the task force was arts integrated education, uh, which we just looked at. Create California is gaining support and momentum throughout the state. Now, how do we move our Kings County public schools towards arts integrated curriculum? Frankly, I'm not entirely sure. I'm in a little over my head here, but I do have some ideas for how we can figure it out together. Um, first off, I ask you to join the Create Kings County Facebook group. 
uh, and to stay active in it. So after you join, just keep posting and commenting and reacting and sharing posts. Um, after you and when we when we get rolling and we start to kind of figure things out, invite friends and family and colleagues to the group. After joining the Facebook group, sign up for the email list. After joining the Facebook group and signing up for the email list, I strongly encourage you to explore Create California's website, which is createca.net. Uh, and I've also linked several resources I find useful on my site, createkings.net. I am planning another youth hop, another youth art hop in late fall. Between now and then, I'm planning a series of smaller, more focused events, such as understanding VAPA standards, uh, what is arts integrated education, and things of that nature. And with what we learn through these smaller events, and with your help, I will make videos explaining these things and informing our community. On another note, I think it's a great boon from the universe that our Kings County Superintendent Todd Barlow uh, is open to these ideas. When we met, he expressed his belief in whole person education, and he was really helpful in spreading the word about April's Youth Art Hop. My point here is that we are not just yelling in the wind. We can organize and we can move parents to action, and we can bring arts integrated curriculum to Kings County Public Schools. Uh, it's already happening all over the state, and it's time that it happens here. Thank you for your time.